the opening carpet of the 81st annual Venice Film Festival. A festival that raises awareness and promotes international cinemas in all its forms was live at the Palazzo di Cinema in Italy. And because this event has become such a staple in the fashion sphere, we surely expected our favorite celebrities and movie stars to show up in their most grandeur fashions. Now while some of our faves showed up and showed out in their fashion extravaganza, others just felt a little out of place for me. So here are the top 10 best and worst dress at day one at the Venice Film Festival 2024. Take a look. First up on our best dress list and starting out strong, we have the gorgeous, gorgeous Taylor Russell. And for day one of the Venice Film Festival at the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice premiere, she had on this white see-through corseted long gown by Chanel that kind of was a recreation of this couture gown from their spring summer 1993 collection and she was styled by the amazing Jahil Weaver and she definitely has just really set the tone of the hair turning fashion that we should be expecting at the Venice Film Festival this year and I absolutely am just obsessed with it. Now I mean look at the material this look in itself was giving me very fashion it was giving me very main character energy and i was here for every aspect of it now first of all i'm just really in love with the construction of this look i must say that i'm generally really not a fan of like using plastic to make a dress because it can look really crafty really fast but i mean just the way this dress was made and constructed just made it look like couture to me and i can appreciate that now I just love the construction of this corset and how it just fits her impeccably. I also am just really obsessed with this floral applique that we see on the bustier. That in itself was just so beautifully done and I loved it. More so, the gathering and the draping of the fabric to kind of give this ball like illusion just made this look feel like fantasy to me and I mean what's not to love about that. Now she has gone very minimal and very demure in the styling of this look and rightfully so because this dress in itself was the main event. Her face card never declines and this hair on her is definitely now a Taylor staple. Overall, Taylor definitely turned heads in this look so it has to be a hot for me. Up next on our list, we have the legendary superstar Kate Blanchett. And for day one of the Venice Film Festival, attending the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice red carpet, she had on this champagne gold strapless long gown by Armani Privé and she was styled by the incredible Elizabeth Stewart and I mean, she was definitely just teaching the children how to do fashion on the red carpet and guess what, we were absolutely taking notes. Now first of all, I'm really just obsessed with the vision of this look, I mean, I always just really trust Armani Privé to kind of deliver a sophisticated and really glamorous look by using this liquidy type material and guess what this look tonight was definitely not an exception now i just really love how clean this look is but at the same time it still really had those really intricate detailing that just really carried this look all the way for me now i love this pearl like detailing that just runs horizontally through the entirety of this look i also just really love this extra pearl like detailing that just really hanged across the shoulders that was really juji and i loved it overall this look by miss kate definitely was a show stopping look so it has to be a hot for me up next on our list we have the stunning amy jackson and for the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice red carpet, she had on this black mesh bejeweled off the shoulder long gown by Alberta Ferrati from their Fall Winter 2024 ready to wear collection and she was definitely such a vision in this look on the red carpet for sure. I mean there were other black dresses on the red carpet but this one definitely just took the cake for me because of how glamorous she just looked and I can just really appreciate the artistry that went behind making the dress. Now first of all, I just love the fit of the dress and how it just really enhanced 
enhances her proportion. I think it was constructed really well and I can really appreciate that. I also am just really in love with the stoning of this look. I mean it just had that consistency that kind of mimicked the constellation of stars and it looks really divine on her. I also really do love this little cross tool fabric that we kind of see across her chest and I just love how demure she has gone with the styling of this look. Her hair looks great, her makeup was eating, so yeah, this look by Miss Amy, 100% has to be a hot for me. Up next on our list, we have the super handsome Justin Therox. And for day one of the Venice Film Festival, he had on this white blazer top, a white inner shirt and black pants by Zegna, and he looks really clean and super dapper in this look for sure. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, but at the same time, this look still feels very much impactful on the red carpet. I mean, the suit fits great, the pants fits great, and I also am just really obsessed with the styling of this look with those black Cuban hued boots. I think that in itself just really helped to elevate his posture and it just works for me so yeah this look by justin has to be a hot for me finally on our best dress list we have the iconic winona Ryder. and for the beetlejuice beetlejuice red carpet she had on this black suit set and a tool maxi skirt combo by chanel and she was styled by the amazing erica cloud and she looks really chic and cool at the same time and i absolutely just loved it now first of all i typically would not rave over a chanel look but this look right here just feels right just in terms of like construction and style now i just love this kind of like gender bending suit and skirt combo i think that in itself just looks really refreshing on her and i just loved it i also just love how the garment was made to fit her impeccably i mean this was very well done and i can really appreciate that overall she looks really amazing and i really just loved her hair up in that bun so yeah this look has to be a hot for me first up on our worst dress list we have the beautiful jenna ortega and for day one at the Venice Film Festival at the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice red carpet, she had on this red tool backless long gown by Christian Dior and she was styled by the amazing Enrique Melendez and I totally just adore Miss Jenna and her talent. However, what I really do not adore is this dress on her and I'll tell you why. Now, not to put Miss Jenna in a box but when I think of Jenna, I really think of really conceptual and borderline high fashion looks when it comes to like her fashion but this look just felt very random on her for sure. Now, this look in itself was giving me very girl next door and not very like superstar on the red carpet and there was just a disconnect for me. I also just did not love the look in on itself and how it was just constructed i mean it just felt very droopy and saggy on her almost like she was floating inside of the dress also the heart-like construction that we see on the borders area just looks really clown-like and funny to me and there was just something very off about her makeup today i don't know this look by jenna just did not do it for me so it has to be a chop for me up next on our list we have the iconic Catherine o'hara and for day one of the Venice Film Festival, she had on this black see-through structural long dress by Oscar de la Renta and she was styled by the incredible Andrew Gerwig and was I really leaving for this look or loving it altogether? I really don't think so. Now, first of all, I just don't feel like I love the way that this dress looks visually and I know that this was supposed to be like an artistic and super intricate dress. However, art is really subjective and to me, it just looks really trashy to me now i just do not love the nude illusion that we see underneath i mean just the way it was constructed to make it look like a dress within a dress just kind of defeated the main idea of what a nude illusion should be i also really just did not care for this squiggly detail that we see at the borders area that in itself just looks like a toddler scribbling rubbish and you have to admit it's not the most glamorous thing to look at overall i just wasn't really impressed by this look by miss o'hara so it has to be a chop for me up next on our list we have the incredible zhang zi 
and for day one of the Venice Film Festival. She had on this black velvet jumpsuit moment by Armani Privé from their Fall Winter 2024 Couture Collection and this look was just not my cup of tea on the red carpet for sure. Now, I will admit this look had the potential to be great but just the fit of it all is just throwing me off and removing me off the fantasy. Now, I just felt like because a velvet material was used to create this look, the fit needed to be more tighter and you know snatched to her body type because it just looks really drappy and droopy on her on the red carpet and that in itself is always going to be a no-no for me. So yeah, like I said before, this look definitely had the potential to be great but I needed the fit to be a bit more tighter. So yeah, this look by Zanti has to be a chop for me. Up next on our list, we have the amazing Barbara Paz. And for day one of the Venice Film Festival, she had on this black sequin trench jacket and honestly, I really do have questions. I mean, where is the glamour on the red carpet? Is the glamour in the room with us? Because I'm genuinely really confused by the choice to just show up on the red carpet in this look. I mean, this is just a walking disaster. It does nothing for our proportions and it just looks a bit gimmicky at this point. So yeah, this look by Barbara, 100% has to be a chop for me. Finally, on our wash dress list, we have the beautiful Isabel Hoopert. And for day one of the Venice Film Festival, she had on this red maxi dress by Balenciaga and she was styled by the amazing Jonas and Huguet. And this was just a no-no for me. I mean, it just looks like this look was wearing her and not the other way around. And that is always a no-no in my book. It just felt like she was swimming in this look. There was just no form to this. And I don't know, the addition of those white gloves just felt like, you know, very cartoon very clowny to me and that was just not the vibe for me overall i just really just did not get glamour from this look so it has to be a chop for me all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i share with you guys my top 10 best and worst dress at day one at the venice film festival if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i would definitely catch you guys in the next one but for now it is bye for now au revoir